At the Rhine Falls, the river drops 23 meters. This spectacular site is one of Switzerland's travel highlights. It attracts over one million visitors every year. I heard about the Rhine Falls for such a very long time. So um, today I came here and very impressive about the Rhine Falls. But whether the waterfall will retain its full vigor in the future is uncertain. The canton of Schaffhausen would like to build a new power plant here. The water protection organization Aqua Viva Rheinaubund is outraged. Das ist für uns ein Tabubuch. Es ist schlicht und einfach unfassbar. For us, this is breaking a taboo. It's unbelievable that this waterfall, a site of international importance, could be sacrificed. The public does not have a clear view yet of the power company's plans. The water would be siphoned off behind the train bridge and pass through a tunnel under the castle. After being pumped through the turbines, it would be released again beneath the Rhine Falls, so the water flow through the falls would be diminished. The power company already runs several power plants along the Rhine. So why build more? With Switzerland moving towards renewable energies, we have to make use of every possible source of energy. The Rhine Falls are ideal with their height. Why not use them to make some electricity? According to the Federal Commission for the Protection of Nature and Cultural Heritage, one-fifth of the water may be siphoned away from the waterfall for energy production. The project is causing heated discussions. However, the power plant operators say they are open to compromise. One option would be to siphon off water for electricity production, mainly at night. At that time, no one will be looking at the waterfall. For the project to go ahead, Schaffhausen still has to modify its Rhine protection law. The issue will be discussed soon in the Canton's parliament.